So look at uh, verse 14 where Jesus says, For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. Now, first things first, it will be like. What's the first question you ask as you start reading this? You want to go, what's the it? it? What's he talking about? Now, there's a great rule of thumb for doing this when you're reading your Bible and you're not sure how to interpret it. One of the, the great rules of Bible interpretation is study the context. What's the context? What do we do when we study context? We look at the surroundings, don't we? Let's, let's illustrate the power of knowing context. I want to put a picture on the screen, and I want you to tell me what you see there, what you think it is. Give me, a, give me some ideas. It's hard to see. It could be a man or a woman. It's kind of hard, long hair. I think we need more context, don't you? So what do we do to find context? We back up and see more of the picture. Let's look at the next picture. Oh, does this, does this help at, at all? Give me some, give me some ideas. It's a boat, so he's in a boat. We didn't know that before. There's other people with him. Look, he apparently is looking down. Well, they're not in the air, so it's, uh, this is, uh, uh, he seems to be wearing a hat of some kind. Is that a coonskin cap? If that's a coonskin cap, that gives us an idea of maybe the time period. I think we need more context. What do we need to do to take in more context? What do we do? Back up and see more of the picture. Let's see the, the oh, how about that? Now we understand the first picture we looked at because we backed up and we studied the context. Well, that's the same principle that we use with, with the Bible. If there's something you don't understand, you dig in and you take in more of the Bible. So if we did that with this verse, what we would learn is that the parable of the talents is actually one of three stories that Jesus tells in chapter 25, and we would read those and find out how they're interconnected. But then if we back up even further, we discover that chapter 25 is linked with chapter 24. It's all part of one big teaching that Jesus is giving his apostles. They have asked him when he's going to return. When is your coming? When is the end of the age? Chapter 24 and 25 is his answer to them. He's talking about his return, when he'll bring in the kingdom of God in all his fullness, and understanding that context, now we can see what this story is all about. And I want you to write this down. This is your first fill-in this morning. What's the it? The story is about how we should live, how we should live while waiting for Christ's return if we want to make sure that we'll enter the kingdom of God. Because in all the stories Jesus tells here, some are welcomed into God's kingdom after Jesus returns, and some are turned away. And Jesus tells us this story because he loves us, and he doesn't want us to, to lose us.